Okay. So uh, I'll give you a brief introduction on joins. Since you, you guys have completed uh, the last three videos, that's my expectation. So I'll provide you some brief introduction about the joins and I'll give you an example on Faral entries and join. So we can achieve same thing using for all entries and join. We can select data from multiple tables using for all entries as well as joins. So we'll see the difference. So how we are going to write when we are using for all entries and how we are going to write the program when we are using join statement. Okay, let's see the difference. So what is a join? So join statement is used to combine the data from multiple tables. Okay, so we can combine data from multiple tables. So we can select data at a time. What is the alternative option we have to select data from multiple tables? Corresponding data of multi from multiple tables. For all entries, right? Using for all entries, first we select the master data and then we select the salary data and then we select the attendance data, right? All are corresponding to the employee only, right? Specific employee data. How many, uh, for example, we need to select employee master data, employee salary data, and employee attendance data. If we are using for all entries, how many st uh, select statements we need to write? Three. We need to write? Multiple statements. Yeah, if you are using uh, for all entries, you need to write three different select statements, right? So every select statement has to connect with the database and get the data when you are using for all entries. What, what is the alternative option we have? We have joins where we combine multiple tables data in a single select statement. You don't need to write multiple select statements. You can combine all these multiple tables data in one single select statement, right? So I'll give you an example. I'll show you an example here. If you see this example, here we have three different tables, EKKO, EKPO, and uh, MAKT, three different tables. MAKT is material text table, where, where, where we store the material text. EKKO is the purchase order header table, EKPO is the purchase order item table. How many of you know the purchase order? Sir, training is not visible for me. Sorry. You are not sharing your screen. <laughs> okay, so in this example, we have three different tables EKKO, EKPO, and uh, MAKT. What is the EKKO, EKPO tables? These are purchase order tables. Whenever a purchase order is created in the system using a particular transaction code. We have a transaction code ME21N to create the purchase order. Let me show you that. So, how many of you know what is purchase order? What is purchase order? In any company, if they want to buy any raw materials, what they will do? If they want to buy any raw materials for the production, will they go to some vendor and directly purchase? No, right? First, they will ask for the quotation from different vendors. Right? What is the best price they can give? What is the expected delivery date? The last quotation from different vendors, right? For that particular material, they will ask for a quotation. Then vendors will provide the quotation for the company. What is the price they can offer and what is the expected delivery date and everything they will provide. So the company purchasing department will analyze all the quotations and uh, select one vendor. Depends on their track record, depends on their... Uh, uh, expected what is the delivery date they are offering depends on the price what they are offering by all this they will choose one vendor to provide the raw materials right 
so after vendor selection they create a purchase order they call it as a purchase order to purchase something we uh, every in any company they create purchase orders in that purchase orders what they include what is the material they want to purchase what is the quantity of the material right what is the expected price of the material what is the expected delivery date of the material who is the vendor who is the vendor providing that material all these details they will include in the purchase order right so the header data the header level information will store in which table ekko table item level data that means material details what is the material what is the quantity for one in one single purchase order they might purchase multiple materials also right so in one single purchase order they might purchase multiple materials as well from the same vendor at that time we create line items for purchase orders line item 10 for one material line item 20 for another material right so we maintain line items so the header level information will store in ekko and item level information will store in ekpo okay so these are the purchase order tables whenever we create a purchase order this is the transaction code me21n so this is the transaction code to create the purchase order what they provide here supplier number supplier means vendor item details what is the material material number what is the quantity what is the expected delivery date what is the price and everything they will enter material by material if you have if you are purchasing 10 different materials how many line items we are going to create if you are creating 10 different materials we are creating we are going to create 10 different line items in the table okay so line items will store in now which table purchase order line items ekpo table ekpo table okay header data will store in ekko table let me show you the fields back and when whatever the details you enter in the screen and click on save purchase order will be created and the corresponding data will be stored in uh, different tables like ekko purchase order header data this is table for purchase order header data what is the field here we, what is the field we have here primary key what is the primary key ebl and that is purchase order number is the primary key so what is the table for uh, line item data ekpo purchase order line item data ekpo what are the primary keys here purchase order number and item number because we need to maintain multiple items for the same purchase order what are the other details we have in the ekpo material number purchase order text plant unit of measure quantity this is quantity what is the purchase order item quantity unit of measure and net price this is net price okay net price per unit this is reference unit net price per unit for, for example if you are purchasing 100 quantity of same material in this netpr uh, field what what is the value we maintain unit price that means what is the price of each piece for example if you are buying some uh, laptop right what is the unit of measure for laptop rupees quantity i am asking about quantity do we measure laptops in uh, kgs tons or pieces per piece okay will you go to shop and ask for uh, 10 kg of laptops no sir no right <laughs> per piece right one piece or 10 pieces or 20 pieces right that is the unit of measure for laptop so that that what is the price per unit per piece that what that's what we maintain in netpr okay 
for example each laptop's price is 10000 so in any tpr we maintain that value 10000 here okay what is the value we maintain in netwr this is total value that means each each uh, each piece price is 10000 and we are buying quantity 10 10 10 laptops that means 1 lakh we maintain 1 lakh total it, uh, total item level value in netwr right so we have material here we maintain the material number not the text what is the check table for material number mara mara is the check table for material number here we maintain material properties all the material master data properties we maintain in uh, mara table right still we don't have text text will be maintained in which table go to text table go to text table in MAKT table MAKT is the text table where we maintain descriptions where we maintain descriptions of the material number <laughs> okay <coughs> so if you want to select purchase order data what are the different tables we need to select EKKO for header level data EKPO for item level data MARA for material material details and MAKT for material text these are the different tables we need to select right now tell me is there any common field between all these tables in EKPO we have EBLM and if you want to select if you want to select purchase order data we need to join we need to combine EKKO and EKPO what is the common field between EKKO and EKPO EBLN right purchase order number is the common field we can select purchase order header data and item data using EBLN as a join condition right even we, we can use for all entries we use EBLN as a common field in the selection now we selected purchase order data what about the material data material data will be stored in MARA MARA table and uh, material text will be stored in MAKT table right now to, to select the material text what is the common field between MAKT and uh, EKPO material number right Matner material number is the common field between MARA table here MARA is the primary key in EKPO is the primary key no right in EKPO it is not a primary key but in, in MARA table material number is a primary key and also in the MAKT table go to text table here also it is a primary key right so there is a common field between EKPO and MAKT tables yes or no material number is the common field so by using material number we can combine EKPO and MAKT tables right If you, see, if you see this table example for example we are selecting EBLN company code and AED8 AED8 is nothing but created date what is the what is the join condition what is the uh, join condition between EKKO and EKPO EKKO EBLN equal to EKPO EBLN and what is the join condition between EKPO and MAKT tables material number EKPO material number equal to MAKT meter number that is a joint condition between EKPO and MAKT there is a common field between each table right for EKKO and EKPO there is a common field EBLN for EKPO and uh, MAKT there is a common field that is material number right in the MAKT material number is the primary key 
let's implement this scenario using for all entries and we'll replace same with the joins okay let's select data from uh, all these three different tables ekko ekp1 makt to display the purchase order report are we going to select all the fields from uh, purchase order tables is it necessary here we have 471 fields in this table ekpo table do we need all these fields information every time no right so depends on the requirement sometimes we select few specific fields and the other time we select other specific fields we need to select only selected fields here okay so we need to list out what are the fields required to display the output first we go for ekko table purchase order header data table here for each purchase order how many records you can find here for each purchase order how many records you can find only one purchase order, one one only one record because ebln is the primary key right so let's select few fields from here ebln company code lifner lifner means vendor this is vendor number i'll copy all these and select few of the fields i don't want this include remove this i want purchase order number company code i don't want rest of the details maybe i need created date aedat aedat is the created date <coughs> and i need vendor number these are from which table ekko table right EKK. Now, I want to select some data, specific data from EKPO table. <coughs> anyway, we are already selecting EBLN from purchase order header data. <coughs> I want purchase order header data and item number. From EKPO table, purchase order header data and item number, I, and I want purchase order text and material number, and I want quantity. I don't want rest of the fields. I want quantity. M E M E N G E M E N G E is the field for quantity. And M E I N S. What is M E I N S? Unit of measure, right? Quantity means for example, I say 100. What is that 100? Is it cages? Is it tons? Or is it each piece? Right? Is it liters? Or is it kilometers? What is that 100? We define that in the unit. Right? For quantity and price, we have reference units. That is mandatory. Whenever you are dealing with a quantity value, there should be a reference unit. And when you are, you are dealing with the price, there should be currency unit. If you say 100, what is that 100? Is it Indian rupees? Is it dollars? Is it pound? Is it euros? Right? We need to define. Depends on the currency type, value will be different, right? Yes or no? 100 rupees is not equal to 100 dollars, right? So, you need to define unit reference unit for quantity and currency so since we are selecting quantity we have a reference unit field that is meins meng is quantity value and meins is the unit reference unit we will select those two and uh, the price we have unit price that is netpr what is the price of per unit and we have total price netwr for that netwr we have a uh, reference unit that is i think p e i n h select n e t w r and p e i n h p e i n h is a unit currency unit is it dollars or rupees now these are the fields i want from ekpo table Now, what are the other fields we need? I want 
material data. I, I just have material number here, but I want to display the material description. What is the material name? I want to display the name as well. Where I can find the material description or additional material properties? If you want additional material properties, you can find that in material master data. That is MARA table. Right? If you want any additional data here or if you just want the description, directly go to MAKT, material text table. Right? So, what, what you need to display from here? Material description, MAKTX. From MAKT, I want to display material text. Okay? But what is the common field? between uh, all these tables, is there any common field between EKKO and EKPO and MAKT? Matner. So, Matner is the common field and Matner is the primary key in MAKT, right? Please make sure the common field should be primary key in any one of the table, okay? Uh, Matner is not primary key in EKKO, but that is primary key in uh, MAKT table. When you are using joins, if you, if you join non-primary key fields, if that field is not primary key in both tables, you will get duplicate records, okay, when you are using joins. Now, now I want to select this data from all these three different tables. And what is the final output I want? What is the final output I need? I need output like this. The output should be like this, EBLN and uh, purchase order number that is EBLP and that is optional if you do not want to display some of the data which you, which you have selected, you do not need to maintain here in the final output. So, this is my final output. This is my final report output. Okay. Now, we can achieve this using, we can achieve this using parallel entries. Sorry. In MAKT, you do not need to display it, right? But when you are selecting the data, you need to pass it in the selection condition. Okay. Okay. You do not need to display the language. That is, again, if you want to display, you can. So, we can achieve this using for all entries as well as joins. Let us see each one example on for all entries, how we select uh, this data using for all entries and let us see how, to, how we do the same using uh, joins. Okay. Is everyone clear what we are going to do now? Is everyone clear? Yes, 